Welcome to episode 285 of the Bear Trap on the Boom and Bust channel. I'm your host, Terry, and today going to look at Trubisky's completions. Um, I was going to try to do something else because it's a lot, but I was going to try to do third down, but it turns out he only threw it um, seven times on third down. So um, I said, okay, we'll go through completions. We'll try to get through as many as we can. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this started. Again, 26. We'll try to get through as much as possible. All right. So this first one, it is second and six in the first quarter. Under center jet play action. Nice catch by Robinson. Looks like only a couple people on that route. You got Mooney in the flat. Robinson breaks into a skinny post. Miller breaks on the out. Miller's open too, but um, we know uh, early on we were showing him a lot of run looks. And so this j looks just like the split zone except play action. And we run him pretty well. And so when you're running those play actions, or sorry, when you're running the ball, then you set up the play action in this way where you can be a little more open. Now, granted, it's the Lions not to have a great secondary, but still. Second and seven. Uh, still in the first quarter, so this must be the next drive. Well, yeah, one completion that first drive. All right, so again, play action, split zone. Not sure I'm a super fan of this. Um, another two-man route. Looks like they just run two curls, two deep curls. Now, the underneath coverage was really late because they uh, stepped up on the play action. So that helps, gives you time. I mean... It's not terrible, but just that always worries me throwing a curl into triple coverage. But again, off play action, not a lot of pass rush. And the Lions don't really have a lot of pass rushers. I don't even know if Flowers was playing. Third and six. Looks like he's playing. Uh, we're in the second quarter now. So only a couple completions in the first quarter. That's interesting. This reminds us of old school. And it's funny because that's when everybody was complaining with Fox and everything. And now we go a quarter, only a few completions. So we got Allen Robinson across the middle. Let's see what we got. Off another play action again. So, uh, well, uh, that's not really a play action. So they lead a running back in. Komet wheels up. Uh, Mooney goes out. Let me go back. There's a lot going on. I'm trying to see what this defense was doing. And I know they put a lot of people on the line. They did that a lot during the game, which whatever. You just lead the middle of the field wide open. Okay, so it looks like it was some type of man coverage with just a spy over the middle. So it looked like it was some type of cover one because uh, the middle field was wide open. You saw the guy jump underneath on Mooney. And then the safety over the middle wasn't there to help. I mean, that's easy pickings. And, again, this is why I find it weird. Now, most receivers in man coverage do good jobs. But this is why I always find it weird when they say, like, we don't have anybody, not even just Robinson. Any of these guys, any of our starting three receivers – and Cole Komet, I would take in man coverage one on one. But yeah, this would have been wide open as well. But again, this spy or whatever he is, he doesn't help that uh, defender out at all. And then that's wide open. And as you see, he had the pocket to throw. Uh, all right, so let's go to this next one. Second and nine, still in the second quarter. Uh, 
We got three uh, bunch on to the right. Play action out of shotgun and just a little uh, bubble, which now doing that with Komet makes much more sense than what we've done before. But right here, we don't just we don't have the numbers. I'm not sure what that was or why that was. <laughs> Because Robinson is going to chip, and or he ends up chipping this guy, and I mean, just let him go. I feel like that wasn't designed correctly, but either way, Mooney gets a miss uh, tackle and makes something out of it. And Komet again throwing it to tight ends with them on the side, they can block. That makes more sense because Robinson them is terrible at blocking. That's just point blank. Period. So second and short, motion to a two-by-two, two, two tight ends on the field. Play action again. And this time, Wims. Wims comes in so randomly. I don't know if Robinson gets tired or what or how they rotate him in. And just the curl route. Breaks it to the outside a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Trubisky's doing what he's supposed to, but I mean, I just gotta be honest. These defenders is real trash. Like they not breaking on the ball at all. They just standing over the top and watching everything happen in front of them. But uh, play action. Good job by Trubisky. I mean, the cover sit. This guy's covering nothing. It's a good strike. Good pocket as well. I need to spend more time looking, talking through the pass pro. At first, there was a lot of play actions, but now we're getting some straight drop back. So second and three. We got a new drive here. Play action. And I would say this is a screen because Holtz was just waiting. <laughs> he wasn't even, he was just waiting for uh, Montgomery to get the ball. So out of the I-Pro formation, play action. I mean, I don't, that, I don't know. Maybe that wasn't a screen, but maybe Holtz messed up. Either way, it didn't make sense to me. Because if that was a screen, why would you send a fullback through the middle? And if it wasn't a screen, what was Holtz doing? All right, so first and 10, uh, still in the second quarter. Looks like three to the left. Play action. See, now, I mean... You don't even need this, this is the stuff I'm talking about, like with Aaron Rodgers and some other people. You don't even need this play action. If you call in whatever a flare, whatever, something quick, just throw it. Like get it to him right now. Like you see it, okay, they're in a cover three look, whatever, off coverage, you got no flat defender. Just throw it. <laughs> like we don't need the Play action, you don't need to drop. Like, all that time you gave the defender time to get over to the flat. And I, I just, that to me, I don't understand. Like, again, you'll see the motion. You see that, just grip it and rip it, as they say. Just boom. Like, Trubisky's looking off people and everything. Like, you don't need to do all that. If it's there, just throw it. But that goes back to the coaches. That's got to be built into the system. All right, first and 10, bunch trips to the right. I don't know what that was. They do a bubble to the right. Allen Robinson and Montgomery end up near each other on the left side. So Allen Robinson does a spot route. Well, they weren't that close together. But still, I don't I don't know. That route combo just didn't make any sense to me. But a quick throw. 
And really, you see Trubisky doing um, what he he did before, and Foles too. Just I wouldn't say forcing it, but clearly just looking for Allen. And that doesn't help us. I mean, there's times where you put the ball up in clutch situation, whatever. But that doesn't help us to me. I think we're much better when we spread the ball around. First and ten. Two minutes left in a half at an empty. And our favorite little curl pattern. Uh, I guess he's breaking out on a dig now. Vertical and I don't know. It looked kind of like two curls and then a double. I wouldn't say a double post. I don't know what that was. But I guess they only sent four because I'm surprised we had enough time to do that. So this sucks up all the underneath defenders and that leaves this open and a man look. Which I like. Well, I, I'm okay with it. Out of empty, that's a long developing route. And uh, when I say crossers and stuff, I like that to be a little more quicker. This isn't exactly my thought about it, but not bad. And the pass pro, not terrible, but... Trubisky uh, able to make a throw in that pocket. I mean, you can't. I mean, again, not great, but you can't. As a quarterback, you can't complain too much. Like, you're not getting hit. Nobody's, you know, on your feet or anything. So delivers a strike there. Second and four. Clock winding down in the second. Two by two in the green zone. Got a double slant. Good timing. And just a big run after the catch by Miller. I mean, he's, this linebacker's flat foot. He's not even getting out into his drop. I don't know if he's spying Trubisky or what. But I would say I like the decisiveness by Trubisky there. Trusting where he was going. And that, <laughs> that's a good grab by Miller. That ball was not great. <laughs> All right, 48 seconds left, first and 10. Trips to the right. I'm pretty sure we didn't score before the half. Can't remember. Dumps it down with Miller. Again, going with who got who has the hot hand, I should say. So out of trips. Just our little curl pattern. You got the flag route right behind it. Miller breaks a tackle, almost goes in. Also, it hurts my heart to see Miller go off like this after <laughs> I needed two yards that one night for my bet. But, hey, I'm going to leave it alone. Um, I mean, again, this is a quick decision. There was some pressure, but Trubisky saw it. And I, I say he feels in a good rhythm. And so we're in the third quarter. Second and nine, but I feel like a lot of that's confidence. And that's why you got some players that they beat up on bad teams because, like, they start having confidence and they're like, oh, I'm doing well. And that doesn't always translate to other teams. But either way, this is one of the few times I see Trubisky just seem like he in a, in a good rhythm and knowing where things are. I mean, you have wide open people <laughs> across here, but – just our curl pattern again and uh, going to commit that time. I need to commit to go over 15 yards. <laughs> so let's look at the pass pro. And they sent a lot of people. They pinned inside. And it's picked up well. I mean, and Trubisky um, 
Trubisky finds his person well. That's why everybody was open. So let's see. They rush outside. He's good. Pins inside. Man, that was, that's good work by the line. Honestly, with a loop and that many blitzers, I would have expected us to mess up, but that was a good job. All right, second and 15. Out of empty, we got four to a side. <laughs> do a terrible screen. Yeah, we just we don't do well with those at all. Our screen game is so bad. All right, third and 16. We're up 10 at this point. So we'll go with the diamond look again, play action. I mean, not play action, jet motion, play action. Then we do a, a little, kind of like a tunnel. Yeah, I would say a tunnel screen. Not bad by Mooney. I mean, obviously doesn't get to where we want, but Mooney's not bad after the run. I like to see more of that on first down. So we're in the fourth quarter, second and 11. We're up by three at this point. Uh, we have empty trips to the right. Do a sprint out. Let's see. That didn't look great. So we got a curl route here. Out route. I mean, not, what was it, second down? Not terrible. But really, you only have one option on there. I mean, I don't know that you're going deep, and Komet was behind Trubisky. So that's a cross-body throw. Well, I guess he's not behind him. You can still make that throw. I don't know. I don't really like the design. Why curl over the middle? I just feel like you could have flooded that. But anyway... Complete it. Um, third and seven. So one of the few money downs. Motion over to a two by two. They blitz. It's in a bunch of people. Look like a zone blitz. I mean, Miller was wide open. That's probably why he's jumping up and down. I mean, Mooney ends up breaking it and getting uh, towards the first, but, and obviously, Trubisky's falling back. But yeah, that's the blitz. He didn't really have time to see it. And a great play by Mooney. <laughs> Look at that coach. <laughs> Coaches be cracking me up, bro. All right, so let's see the O-line, how we handled the blitz. They stunned across. Montgomery missed his man. And you would have had some time. Montgomery missed his man a little bit. Um, but again, good job by Mooney. Second and 10. In the green zone, close to the red zone. Motion to a bunch of trips. We love that close bunch trips. And, <laughs> I mean, a good run by Mooney. And, again, I think he's really good at the run. But we would throw a screen with two of our worst screen blockers. But, yeah, I like to see them mixing in that with Mooney. Just better personnel. Third and five out of empty. We ran a lot of screens. A lot of our typical stuff, nothing too crazy. <laughs> Cordero with with the stretch. Just trying to get a little natural rub action here. 
which they do. And it's like triple slants backside. I don't, I mean, I guess. I don't, I don't like that type of offense. That's me. I know that's what a lot of people do in the NFL. Just, I don't like that type of offense. Especially out of empty. I feel like you could have had something more creative. But they put a lot of people on the line, came after us. I mean, everybody does. Well, not really. Because they sent four. White hair. I mean, I don't know what the call was, but white hair ended up being unblocked or untouched. All right, second and seven. We're up three. In the red zone, play action. Waggle to commit. Tutty. I knew, I swear I had commit as any time score. I knew he was going to score. But yeah, I mean, that's typical plays we should see. It, you know, it always cracks me up. You already know how I feel for anybody listening to me. It always cracks me up people talking like, you know, they did with Shaheen. They did with everybody. And then I saw articles this year about Komet. Komet needs to produce more. Like they don't throw to themselves, people. <laughs> if you're not running these type of plays, you're not putting them in positions, then they're not going to get the ball. And then if, Trubisky don't throw in the ball, they're not going to get the ball. And so it's it's always funny to me when they act just like tight ends. Like, I get it. We haven't had great tight ends or great numbers, but that doesn't mean, like, they're just not doing their job. So this is interesting. I mean, good job by Trubisky. I'm not sure what the Lions did, but, okay, so they blitzed the corner. That's why I was like, why did no one cover and so, that's a good job by Trubisky. I mean, I don't know if they set it up to be a, a little bit of a natural rub, but either way, you see the defender blitz that slots open. Now, they did some zone blitzing that's interesting. And there's some teams that do it, but I wouldn't say it's – the preferred, I feel like a lot more people with man blitz. But yeah, good recognition. Good yak by Komet. Second and 13. Play action again. Backside to, and <laughs> I wouldn't say it's the exact same, but this. Watching this, this feels a little bit more like what the Rams do. A lot of bringing people uh, cross field. And I just happen to see a lot of Rams recently. A lot of play action, a lot of cross field stuff. So now we're at the end. We're down by four. First and ten. We actually get close. So two by two. Just the angle route, middle of the field's open. Middle field's been open all day. Their linebackers are trash. And so they only rush for a little bit of pressure. Must for not his feet not that well, moving laterally. But gets it off. So, first and 10 again, driving down the field, uh, past halfway, almost into the green zone. Now, let's see what we got here. So, it ends up dumping it down. I'm sure that's not what we wanted. One of our receivers gets caught up blocking and is laid into the route. They're hugging up with Robinson. Yeah, nothing, nothing there. Now, let's see from the end zone view because Miller gets caught up chipping. He gets blasted. Well, I wouldn't say blasted. Never mind. He just put a lot of his weight into that. And then um, there's a check release by 
commit as well. And really, it was just no route. I mean, that was closed. That was closed. So Trubisky moved towards commit, I guess, to make it an easier throw for him. And that's tough. I mean, I guess. I don't know that you needed to check release both of them at this point. You need to put routes downfield. So second down. Uh, I guess it's just a four vert. And then you got, um, what's his name? Dave Montgomery coming underneath. So just a decoy, almost like a clear route. I guess. I mean, Montgomery's a dangerous runner in the open field. So second and nine, 54 seconds left. Got trips to the right. And they do this curl pattern again. Now this I don't get. I mean, second and nine, you down four. You got 54 seconds left. You, I mean, you got some time, but why am I throwing a four or five yard route? I just, I mean, I don't get that. It gets you a little closer, but I just, I don't like the play. I don't like the play call. Gets me third, so it's third and five, and it's fit. It's twenty two seconds left. I mean, what was the point of that? I can't see what the timeout situation is. But even if I got three timeouts, I don't want to do that. I want to get some more yards than that because we got to score. So now third and five, they do the curls again, which. I just don't get. <laughs> I just I just don't get that. I mean, it's nothing against Trubisky. I mean, that's the play that's called. He gets it to Robinson. Robinson does his thing. I just I don't get. I guess that's it. Uh, I, I guess I don't remember how it ended. Or well, I guess it wasn't a completed pass. Oh my god, that that was. I don't like those last two. But anyway, um, overall, what did I think? Um, obviously, again, as I uh, went over a run game. It was doing a lot better than previous times. Um, I do think that Trubisky looked in a better groove, um, and they gave him some things that are easier, some screens, um, a lot of screens, I should say, uh, a little bit of the sprint outs, but a lot of play action, a lot, a lot of play action. And, hey, I said this last year, that's the new hot thing in the NFL is play action from under the gun. I mean, from under center, which everybody's like, oh, this going away. The run game's going away. And people, and we've seen it. We do it without the run game. Um, but people are, I guess, or I should say coaches are rediscovering the reason it was effective in the first place. You hide the ball. But anyway, you see teams doing that. Um, but obviously when your run game is effective, it's going to be more uh, beneficial for you when you do play action. And then on top of that, it only works to a certain extent. There's still got to be times you got to make plays in the pocket. But overall, I just felt like it was a good natural rhythm for Trubisky, felt confident, made decisions quickly. Usually, first of all, there's only eight incompletions um, when I looked at the number. And then on top of that, if you really go through uh, what well, we just did, I would say there's not many times I'm like, Trubisky made a bad decision. Um, like, the last game was bad. Like, the, the pocket was clean, and he was it, he was bad. This time, the pocket, for the most part, uh, he had time, and he made good decisions based on what he had. And so um, I have really no issues with Trubisky, I do have some issues with some of the play calling, but um, yeah, so um, that's what I thought. Go to the comment section, let me know what you think. Share it around, get the conversation started. Thumbs up, subscribe, remember, stay up and bear down.